Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to another tour review and today Skullgrin. Uh where's the This is all yeah there you go. Skullgrin. And I'm I was super excited to get this guy because I had the original, my cousin had bomb burst. And uh, we had tons of fun playing with the Pretenders. We had no commercials back then about Pretenders. We're up north Quebec uh, in Canada and we don't have um, many English channels. So we don't look at commercials that much. So never knew what Pretenders were. It's my grandmother when they came for Christmas and she had one for me, one for my cousin. That's, that's all I knew. So in our head, these shell were holding the ultimate weapons. You know, it wasn't just like a hiding gimmick and stuff because we had monsters, not humans like the the Autobots. And so we were like, oh man, these must be like super secret weapons. And the, so we would pin our armies against these two robots and these two robots would just decimate everything in alt mode. So. But anyway, you know, us being nine, ten years old, maybe eight, I can't recall. But Skullgrin was my favorite Transformers, you know, at the time. Uh, and the shell, because he was so, well, I didn't know back then, but he's so metal, so, you know, evil and, you know, the, the, he's scary, he's imposing. So I was le really looking forward to the updated version, and I'm 50% happy. The alt mode, amazing. The tank mode, eh. So anyway, we're going to take a look at it. Before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And uh, at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code uh, on anything Transformers. So there you go. So now let's roll the intro. Okay, let's take a look at, well, the box. That, you know, uh, the tank mode displayed on front with the skull grin face here and the mode, the robot mode. Uh, the artwork's pretty good. No longer sure about that thing though. And uh, 20 steps, the QR code if you want to get the stats. Sorry about the background noise. You know, sometimes you can't control these things. Uh, Transformers, more than me, the eyes, you know, standard box. I don't like the legacy boxes as much as I like the War for Cybertron boxes. They, the, the War for Cybertron boxes stacked better. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, instruction, standard, uh, you know, it's what we've uh, come to love. As for accessories, these are pretty nice. I mean, they're a little bendy. So it's that rubbery plastic. I mean, the details, you know, it's still waffly, unfortunately. And then you have a sword and a gun. White plastic painted over uh, the uh, with that uh, gun metal. Looks really good. I mean, looks good. This one here, um, gun metal and that purple. Uh, not too sure if... I don't recall that the G1 uh, Pretender weapon looked like that. Maybe it did. Uh, maybe I should check some pictures. But... You know, and then you have this. Well, that comes with the figure. It's already pegged. It's a stale. So if you, you know, it goes here. And then you plug either the swords or the gun inside. Uh, you know, that's about the only organic, except the face, of course. That's about the only organic stuff you see. Uh, but it, uh, I don't know. I think it, they could have done it uh, just a little better. But I really like it. Uh, the uh, figure itself is fine i really enjoy it it the the face sculpt is amazing i mean i wish it was a uh, voyager size honestly or maybe even a leader size i would love that but the deluxe one it works well i mean i'll agree that there's more robotic part from the you know the g1 robot alt mode uh robot mode that you see more than the organic feel of the uh, pretender shell but, you know, it's, I'll agree with PPR that it's kind of a robot wearing a mask, but I don't mind it. I think it's a nice update. 
it didn't make sense that much to me back then to have a uh, organic shell after beast wars and how much i love beast war it's kind of hard to stick behind that belief i mean the organic shell works um and it's a great disguise but i mean if you're a giant skull monster it doesn't work as well uh the arms are um, you know nicely uh painted with the uh, well a colored colored plastic sorry uh, with the painted shoulder pads and that's a little rubbery and then this is a little rubbery same as the uh, the horn in the back of the head uh, this is harder though the face is actually hard plastic and then you have is this rubbery too hold on yeah it's kind of short so it's hard to tell but it is uh, fairly rubbery uh, but the rest of the belt is hard plastic it's not as metal as it used to be back in g1 but looks pretty good um, nice homage to the knees with the uh, I don't know what you call that not horn but you know spike yeah I guess that's what it is uh, nice Autobot well Decepticon logo sorry uh, that looks good I mean I like the skull I love the face the sculpt of the face is amazing the purple eyes or grave colorblind so this could be gray or purple I can't tell you but it looks amazing and the back is really flat in the back you know very straight and you have i mean there's no hollowness you have the tracks the inside you know there's just a little hollow part here so it's not that bad it cleans up nicely uh of course the under of the arm you know for transformation you need that big hole and uh, but i like the colors very reminiscent of the uh robot uh, that we had uh inside the shell back in G1 it's uh, I like it I I a hundred percent I love this uh, this robot mode it looks really good um, but the next part uh, with the alt mode it's not so much articulation you have the head on a ball joint that spins no problem looks really good it kind of snaps in place you have the horn that moves and in the back as well it moves uh, you have a slight elevating well a slight movement at the shoulder oh actually more than that you have to force it a little bit oh okay that what works so the, the arms can go like this and then you can ferris wheel all the way around you have a good elbow bend more than 90 that's good the hand well there you go doesn't rotate it's one of those regular joints so all right that hand is back on so there you go uh, nice detail with the uh, kind of uh, I don't know claw not claws but there's a little you know American knuckles there you go uh, it folds you have no ab crunch well could you with nah not with the transformation you couldn't you have the 360 at the waist that looks good rotation well the legs will uh, can you do the Johnny Cage Ooh, nope it's kind of no it's hindered because of the skirt you have a under the waist rotation you have a 90 bend could do more but it's uh, jammed because of the tracks you have no rotation at the foot you don't have a well you could have a back and forth if you remove this but that's just because of transformation but you do have an ankle tilt and the way you can display them how you want i like the uh, you know putting guns under the arms like that so that he's you know always ready you can either have a sword a gun blade Let's go with that on this side but it's it end and there's the well there you go okay i got it i got it straight sorry retract that last statement it doesn't end there's nothing and there you go skull grin ready for battle ready to kick some butt and now let's do some uh, size comparison so here's skull grin with or class iguanas and the paint is really good on this one and uh, the details it, more of an organic feel to it so kudos uh, for the core class uh, both modes amazing uh, I wish the uh, mode on Skull Green would have been as good. So, Voyager class Cyclonus from the Kingdom line. Leader class Beast War Megatron, also from the Kingdom line. 
And now, let's uh, transform him. Yeah. Transformation was a pain. The hip joint, you know, it's not clear in the instruction. Oh, sorry. You know what? Uh, I said 37% on my Instagram post uh, how much I like this alt mode. I'm down to 12%. It's garbage. I mean, the transformation is clunky at best. Uh, the colors are, you know, they're not, they're nice, uh, but the the whole thing just looks like crap. I mean, super hollow. You can put a uh, a blade here if you want to cover, but even then, looks like garbage. The back is well, I guess that's the nicest part, the back. But the the alt mode itself, I mean, it's the tank. Hey, kudos, it's articulated for this. You know, it goes up and down. You can put cannons and. There's plenty of ports to be able to do um, various uh, display uh, option. But in the end, it's a crap alt mode. I don't say that very often, especially for figures I've been very excited to receive. But this, this is, uh, wow. You know what, I hope they redo a Voyager class of this, or maybe a leader class, but that they actually, you know, put some thought into it, so. All right, guys, so uh, final look at the alt mode forever. Well, sorry, guys, this is a cheap reshoot of my uh, final thoughts because uh, apparently I didn't hit record and this... I reviewed like seven figures today, so, you know, sometimes you hit the wrong button. But in the end, I love the robot mode. I dislike the alt mode. It's kind of a... Well, David... Uh, CT from the chat mentioned uh, on Facebook that uh, it reminds him of a snowmobile. And you know what? He's kind of right. So that's the um, that's the downside. The, the alt mode is, you know, not good. I love the robot mode. I, I like the fact that, you know, he, he reminds me of the robot from G1 and also of the shell of G1. So that's a plus. The accessories are fun. Yes, they're rubbery for the sword, the gun blade. It's kind of cheap, but it's not that bad. And uh, I like the uh, the cannons. I like the way I'm displaying him right now. Uh, you know, he looks badass. He still looks metal. Uh, I love the shoulder pads. I love the belt. I love the little nod to the uh, spike on the knees. He, and the color scheme is pretty amazing. And the face sculpt is metal. So I love this guy. But I dislike a lot his alt mode. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've liked this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.